DJI has come out with another firmware update and a change in apps. They've created a new app called the Go App, and I'm going to quickly walk you through setting up the Go App and then remind you for how to update the firmware. We're going to start in the mobile device and then enter the App Store or the Android Play Store. Search for DJI Go and then download the app. Go through all of the DJI tutorials and then enter the app. Now it tells us that we still need to update the firmware. And it tells us that we can't do that through the app, at least not with this release. So we'll update the firmware through the DJI.com website as we've done in the past. To do that, go to www.dji.com and look for Phantom 3 Professional or Advanced and then download the firmware file. I'm using Google Chrome as my browser. Wherever the file is in your browser, go to that file. You can unzip and then open the folder from there. In my case, I like to put the zip file in a place where I can easily find it again. So I create a new folder called Phantom, and then I paste the zip folder into the Phantom folder. I right click and unzip the folder and this reveals the firmware file and a how-to in PDF. Read the file for learning about all the updates. Next, copy the firmware file and paste it to the root directory of your memory card or the USB drive. Next, with the controller turned off, plug in the USB drive or the memory card reader and then turn on the radio transmitter. It takes a few seconds for the update to get started. The tone changes from this to this, and then the lights turn green. So with the card in the Phantom, go ahead and turn it on. It takes a minute for the firmware to get started and then listen to the beeps. The update will progress for about 20 minutes or so. The beep sequence then changes to then turn off the Phantom. If you have more than one battery, insert the next battery and start up the Phantom again. Updating the battery only takes a few minutes. Now, when you start up the radio controller, the mobile device, and the Phantom, you should then see that everything is up to date.